Welcome back to my channel! So here is a really fun recipe on how to make cookie butter and cookie dough croissants. So you start off with two cups of all-purpose flour, then you're going to add to that one cup of softened butter, it could be salted or unsalted. Then to that I'm going to be adding a half a cup of confectioner sugar. want to make sure you get all that in there and then after that you're going to be adding one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now for this dough in particular I use the hand mixer a little bit at first and then I go at it with my hands. Um, this is a very difficult dough to just go at with the hand mixer because it's very crumbly so give all your strength into that until it becomes a dough that looks just like this. Then I'm going to be adding one cup of chocolate chips. I used milk chocolate chips, um, or actually semi-sweet. And then you're just gonna fold those in there. This is a really good um, shortbread recipe that I've had for so long. Um, fun fact, I actually won a Girl Scout baking award with that shortbread cookie recipe. Now, after that's just chilled in the fridge for a little bit, I bought pre-made croissant dough. Um, I usually would never tell people to do this, but I think it's just a little bit easier. I did have a very hard time unraveling this for some reason. This is not satisfying whatsoever. It hurts to even watch it again. Um, but it is actually really convenient after you unravel it that you don't need a knife to even cut it because you could just tear it off. You can easily make your own croissant dough. Um, I have before. It does take a lot of time, so this definitely is just a nice, easier recipe to do considering croissant dough just has a lot of chilling and a lot of resting time. So this is just a better way, an easier way to do it. So now, once those are all separated, I took four of the croissants, and now I'm gonna take my cookie butter, and I'm just going to spread those just on the croissants. Um, cookie butter is one of my favorite things in the world. Um, I discovered it with Trader Joe's, and then this is actually Biscoff spread, which is basically the same thing. Um, it's also really easy to uh, to spread, and it just it's just a really good flavor. So once that's all spread out, you're going to cut a tiny little sliver on the base of the croissant just to give you a nice even roll. So what you're going to do is you're going to start from the base of the croissant and then you're going to roll in and out. So then you're going to just keep rolling and you're going to try to go as even as possible so then you have the same amount of rolls on each side of the croissant. And then you're going to bend it in just like a tiny little half moon, almost like a C shape. Now we're going to be doing the same thing um, with our cookie dough instead. So this has been just chilling in the fridge for a little bit so it's not too soft. And then basically what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to pack it onto each croissant. You don't want to put too much because then they're going to be really hard to roll. So just try to pack them down as easy and as even as possible, um, but just making sure that you're adding enough. So what I did here is I just did the same exact thing. Um, they're a little bit thicker because of the cookie dough, obviously. So as you can see, they are definitely a little bit thicker. So now I'm just going to place them right onto the parchment on a sheet pan. And now from here, I'm going to put an egg wash on them. So the egg wash recipe that I always used, I learned in school, is one egg, one egg yolk, and a pinch of salt to, for, um, for flavor. So what the egg wash really does is it kind of gives that nice shine that you usually see on pastry items in shops, especially bread pastry items. Egg wash is a big component with that. And you want to make sure that it's not just egg and you definitely put the pinch of salt in there, otherwise it's going to taste like an egg. So I just popped those in the oven um, at 350 degrees and I baked these for about 11 minutes or so. The smell that comes out of the oven is amazing.
and then they're all done. Enjoy them as much as you can. Please remember to like this video and please subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys next time.